It's a big car, it's a coupe, has a carbon fiber roof. Oh great, we have traffic, yay. <laughs> yeah, as you all know our roads in Montreal aren't that great, so this might be a little bumpy. <laughs> but anyways, um, what is an SMG? Most of you know what they are, but most of you don't know how to drive them, that's the problem. Um, now, Listen to, listen to everything I'm gonna say. SMG is typically a manual without a clutch or a pedal, clutch pedal. Let me finish. It's not essentially a manual, but you have to drive it like one. For instance, um, <laughs> every time you, sh you change gears, it's preferable that you take your, especially if you're up shifting, um, take your foot slightly off the gas so that you, it doesn't smack from the back, like your differential doesn't hit too hard. Um, same as you would do in a manual car. Now that's why most of them break, is because people just foot all the way down, let's shift, up shift, down shift, whatever, and that's what breaks the transmission, that's what breaks the SMGs. Um, <clears throat> they're not that bad, I guess I prefer a DCT, obviously, for sure, but they're not that bad. If you get, you learn how to drive them, you know how they work, you can, you can also reset the SMG at a certain point. I know it's been it's between 0 to 30 I think you put it on neutral as you're rolling you press both minus and plus at the same time or between 100 and 120 something along those lines uh, It learns Your driving and it learns how to upshift and downshift as you would uh, You can do it as many times as you want. It's it's nice to do it every once in a while That's uh, it's a pretty cool feature. I guess um, This car is scary in the sense where people get scared of them. It's a V10. There could be a lot of problems, a lot of problems, blah, 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 blah. Same thing with the SMG or the, uh, the bearing rods. My dad has an M5, the V10, same car basically. Uh, he has almost 150,000 clicks on it. Never had any problems. Why? Because he doesn't, he doesn't destroy the vehicle. Um, he pushes, yes, so do I, I push, I enjoy, but you gotta know how. You can't just keep peeling off in first gear, ripping it off, smacking it into second, your differential hits, you don't take your foot off the gas. That's what destroys the car over the time. <coughs> so these things, these problems that everybody keeps complaining about is because they beat their car senseless. I'm not telling you not to enjoy the car, but you gotta be careful with it as well at the same time. I mean. It is a car at the end of the day. It's gonna break at some point. Um, Maintenance-wise, do your maintenances regularly and you won't have a problem. Everything that needs to be done, I do it. And I don't cheap out on, on, on parts either. I don't, don't cheap out on labor either, guys. These guys, they work hard to make sure our car runs properly. So just, anyways, that's a different story. But don't cheap out on labor, don't cheap out on parts and you shouldn't have any problems, trust me. Now, these cars are pretty hard to find. The reason why is because, well, when the M5 came out, it was such a huge thing, it was big, it was mental. But when the E60 M5 came out, the way they announced it, I remember I was a kid, my dad brought us a magazine back home. Sorry, I'm having a bit of, uh, anyways. Uh, he brought us a, a magazine, I remember there was fire all around, it was mad, sil mad gray or mad silver. I remember like it was yesterday. Um, there was a lot of hype about the M5, everybody saw the M5 and they were tripping, and they came out with the M6 a, a bit after. But the M6 was around 20 grand more expensive. People were like, holy shit, it's the exact same car. I'm getting two more doors in an M5. Now, it's a great car. 507 horses, as I said. Um, usually when you turn on the car, it's in 400. It's mode 400, basically. I don't know what you want to call it. So you have the 400 horses. You, know, you don't have everything that you need. Except when you press the M button. <laughs> That's when the car unleashes. You get your 507 horses, you get your SMG that um, 
becomes faster because you can play with the SMG as well. You have one, two, three, four, five, five options uh, or fast speeds you do if you want to say and then you have an extra one when you take your traction control off. However, I've set it in the sense where when I press the M button on, um, traction control doesn't come off until I say so. It's just a precaution. Um, it is what it is. But let's face it, I never have it on. <laughs> it takes studying. It really does. Like this is not a joke and I'm not saying this to make you laugh, but these cars really take study. Like you need to study the car. You need to know <coughs> how it takes when you press down on the gas, how it reacts, how much it spins, how much it doesn't spin, how, how your gears shift, how fast they shift. Honestly, I haven't had any problems since I've got it. The only thing I've changed was the tires and the brakes since I've had it. Um, <coughs> shocks, whatnot, blah, 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 all these things. The guy before me had, had done all his maintenances at BMW. Um, over like over the years and whatnot, I haven't needed to do anything yet. So that's my point: is that when you treat these cars properly, you don't have you won't have a problem. Yes, it's gonna cost you a shitload of money and gas. <laughs> um, I I don't know what to say there, but maintenance-wise, I haven't had any problems. The point the, the thing is, you gotta find something clean, somewhat clean. Like okay, this wasn't brand new; it had 100k, but it was. Was, it was well maintained. Look, take the time, don't rush into anything, especially when it comes to cars like these. Because if, if you land on a good one, you'll have the time of your life. If you land on a bad one, it's gonna be a very bad experience. Now I keep going back and forth. Uh, just a little explanation about this car it has. It's 2006, it has GPS. I have <clears throat> Bluetooth for the phone only, nothing for, not for the uh, for the music or whatever. I have an FM transmitter. It is a 2006. Heated seats in the front, leather all around, even I have leather on the, um, it's an extended leather version, so all my dash is leather, the doors are leather as well. I have Alcantara roof, uh, two seats in the back only. SMG, as we know, seven speeds with the, as I said, six uh, options of how fast you want it. I got three modes of uh, suspension, EDC, I got the Comfort, I got the Sport and the Sport Plus. I've uh, I put 15 millimeter spacers all around just to give it a bit of a more of aggressive look. I painted the wheels in black. Uh, I powder coated my, uh, my my calipers in the, the the brand new M4s and the, the M4s and the M3s and the M5. The, the calipers come in blue with the M uh, emblem on them. I did that. It looks amazing. Ah, there's a crop right there. Oh, But yeah, I powder coated my calipers in, uh, <coughs> in blue. I put the M sticker on them. All this done at uh, Auto Ralph. Shout out to that guy. I installed black grills, kidney grills today. This morning actually, uh, they came in. I installed them, took me like 10, 20 minutes. It wasn't that big of a deal. Anyways, um, I was talking about the bureaucracy on the track. That was thanks to, to Sergio, to Rick, to Jesse for that amazing event. To be honest with you, this year was really special because I got to go on the track for the first time and track this car and I've been wanting to do that for such a long time. It just never happened. It never got, I never got the chance to do it. And uh, we were there. I was with my buddy Pat and my brother. <coughs> and we just went for it and it was one hell of an experience. And this car took it so well. It was mental. It was an our car. We did I don't know, seven or eight laps. I was racing my buddy, uh, Pat, with his M4. Hey, bro. <laughs> um, it was super fun. My brother was in the seat next to me. It was hilarious. We had a blast. It was fun. Again, shout out to the bureaucracy guys. Love you guys. The car is amazing. I love it. Um, it has its ups. It has its down. Uh, it takes too much gas. SMG kicks. Uh, I would love a DCT. I would love Bluetooth. But all in all, in general, this is an amazing car. Now another option that I really like about this car is the launch control mode. Um, who doesn't? <laughs> um, I've done it a couple of times. I done it when I first got the car just to test it out. It was my first car with a launch control mode. Uh, it was pretty cool. I did it the last time at the track when I was uh, when I was dragging it. I did a 12.8 for the quarter mile, by the way, which is not bad because it's not too far off what the uh, what the numbers online say. Um, it's pretty fun. What you need to do basically is it has to be an M mode. So press the button, uh, take your trash control off, the DSC button, press it once. Uh, put your uh, shifting speed to the maximum, 
Again, as I said before, once you take off your traction control, you get an extra one. So make sure you add that as well. Um, then you hold your um, your knob down to the downshifting position and you hold it there. So you hold it for around three, three to four seconds. Okay, no more cars. And then you press on the brake, it revs to 1500 RPM. And you, you keep pressing as much as you want. Press your foot all the way down and then just release. <laughs> That sure wraps up my video about my car. If you have any suggestions or any um, any questions, any suggestions, just post them down below. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and that's it, guys. Take it easy. Till the next time.